Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another uh, another Let's Play episode. It's been a minute. It has been a minute since I've actually gone on Cove Cala. I've been over here in Stardew Land and I'm neglecting my sweet, sweet villagers. Uh, mo actually, no, 90% are sweet. 10% are questionable. I haven't even interacted with Curlos yet. We still haven't gotten a cranky or, or put new plots out there. There's a lot to do. Okay, let's just go ahead and get into it. I have truly no idea what we're getting into today. Oh my god, it's raining again? Oh, well, I mean, maybe that's good for our flowers, if nothing else. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Cove Cala, it is 12.14 p.m. on Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. Ooh, lots of twos. Also, I need to film this in 45 minutes because, you know, it comes on at one o'clock my time. Love Island. I try and watch it live through a VPN. Anyway, that you guys don't care about that, do you? I have an event announcement to share today. What's going on, Isabel? This Saturday, we're having our island's very first bug off. Oh, I kind of wish I was recording on Saturday. Oh, well, I guess, I, who cares? Y'all care about the bug off? Let me know. The poor bug off and fishing tournament. Everyone just kind of throws to the wayside, huh? Okay, registration, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Isabel. Stay dry in this rainy, rainy weather. Oh my God, still no hybrids. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is getting out of control. How long have I been trying to get some orange flowers and it still hasn't happened? Oh my God, okay, well, all right, let's just check our mail. Um, At least we have presents, Dodo Airlines. Okay, great, thanks. I'll just take that merch. Maybe it's the umbrella. Do they make an umbrella? I don't know. My pockets are too full to hold the Happy Home Academy uh, bullshit that they gave me. Okay. Listen, well, if we're going to be running around in the rain, then at least, you know, at least we need to put on a raincoat, but my pockets are full. Hold on. I'm just going to like hang all my clothes, right? <laughs> I put the infamous Guy Fieri pineapple shirt there on the wall for you guys. You know what? Those actually look cute together. I'm okay with it. But truly, this house, this house is a mess. Oh my God. And my storage is full. Oh, we're going to have to expand our house. And I don't think I've paid off that much of my loan. This is bad. This is what happens when you neglect your Animal Crossing island for several weeks. You know what you have to do? You have to decorate with pants. That's what I'm doing. I'm decorating with pants. I don't know. Actually, it's kind of a cute concept, right? No, man, not really. Just looks like someone with an insanely long torso should be standing right there. I guess we can sell some stuff from our storage, right? Like, let's sell the coral, all this stuff. Okay, this is not a good situation for our house um, aesthetic. Just dropping stuff everywhere. But, you know, we can sell some of this. We can sell some of it. We'll get more bells, obviously. Pay off this stupid loan. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, all of the villagers are going to yell at me too because I haven't been around and talking to them. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Well... What else can we do? I guess let's just like, do you want to sell some fruit? Yeah, let's just like shake some of these trees, sell some fruit, try and be a good Animal Crossing player and uh, make money. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see, like, let me shake the tree, but the cherries on my little backpack, they match the cherries I just picked up. That's just really cute. Okay. Norma, 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 Norma. Hey, what's up, girlfriend? Yes, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I know I've been away. Don't be mad at me. I bet you've been hiding out reading a good book. Oh, actually, you know what? You have uh, reading a good book. Yeah, Atomic Habits right here. Phenomenal book by James Clear. Highly suggest Norma. Great read. <gasps> Wait a second. Sahara's here. Oh, let's go get those tickets. If I'm right, you'll have to share with me when you're done. Of course, girlfriend. Of course. All right, Sahara, you stay put. Let me go get those tickets that I have and I'll just spin them. Let's just get more rugs and wallpaper and all, and, you know, use, let's use the tickets. Sahara, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you, Sahara? There you are. Oh, what am I doing too? I literally got out this umbrella so that way I wouldn't be rained upon. Yes, eyelash queen. I would like to, oh wait, do I have to buy something first let's make a trade wait can i do that um um let's get let's get wallpaper wait how do i use the exchange tickets oh okay 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 wow i i truly clearly don't know how to play this game after literal years of playing it still don't know how to play animal crossing wait that was five tickets oh dang okay well i guess we could only do one um all right well sahara i'm so sorry i'm not interested in buying anything else from you today i just wanted the free shit like give me the free Costco samples. That's all I'm here for. Let's be real. Piper. Oh no, she's gonna be mad at me too. They're all gonna be mad at me. Piper girlfriend, how are you? I love that umbrella. Look at how chic you are. I have so much to tell you about so many things. It's been forever since we talked. What's been going on? Wait, hold on, hold on. Something happened with my boy 
fuck? I don't know. I want you to dish to me. I'm gonna get my notes together because there's so much stuff to tell you and not forget something. She's been like straight up diarying. Oh my God. <laughs> diarying, like as in journaling, she's been documenting what's been happening. But whenever I said diarying, it it did very much sound like diarrhea-ing. Hopefully Piper has not been diarrhea-ing. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay, Piper, I'm gonna come find you in a little bit and we're gonna chat more because I want all of the hot goss. I also want these bells from the tree in your yard. I hope, uh, oh, I'm sorry, don't, please don't look at me and judge me. In fairness though, girl, I did plant them. I planted them there, so they're mine. Okay, well, let's go to Nook cranny and sell all of this stuff well we should probably uh we should probably dig up fossils too don't you have to donate a certain amount to the museum to even get brewster we don't even have brewster we haven't seen captain there is just so much that we have not done we probably need to build a bridge here so people can actually go to nook's cranny and uh they don't have to use a little jumpy jump vaulting pole okay 20 boys what are we up to today Ooh, we got some good items okay before i actually buy let me sell i wonder how much a sahara ticket sells for should i just sell it um yeah let me i'm just gonna sell it is that terrible probably but um oh well <laughs> oh yeah and then these weeds i have too many weeds actually no thinking about it let me not sell the ticket i need to save those if nothing else maybe at some point we'll exchange them i don't know better to be safe than sorry though right all right boys pay me pay me Seventeen thousand. okay that's pretty good now do we want to buy any of this stuff Ugh, i mean this is a pretty good item i think we already have one of these oh, gosh you two are so needy what what stop following me stop following me stop pressuring me to buy i kind of want the volleyball 520 um okay yeah let's go ahead and buy one and then how much is this because i actually do like this item but i don't know it's probably gonna be expensive let's see like what twenty thousand? Oh, only seven thousand. okay yeah 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 i just didn't want to go under forty thousand bells because i would like to try and pay off some of our house but that's good okay all right and is there anything interesting in here not sure what just happened with my voice oh this umbrella is cuter i mean it's very similar to the one i have oh, i don't need it i don't need it and then Oh, let's get let's get a little bit of flooring maybe. I genuinely don't need any of this. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna stop. We are gonna practice some self-control. Ooh, I wish we could go back here. Like, see that little pot in the corner? Boys, what are you hiding? What inventory is back there? I would like that little terracotta looking pot, okay? So practice getting that into your inventory and you might have a repeat shopper. Okay, oh, wait. Does the one single bird mean we have a little something on our bulletin board? Yeah, it does. Okay, oh, it's just about the bug off. Well, that's fine. I do actually wanna play the bug off maybe. Maybe that's what, maybe, I'll make a note to like film on Saturday because it's the first one of the year, right? Don't they only happen in summer? Okay, yeah, all right. I'm gonna make an effort to have the next episode be with the bug off. Oh, Tom, what? What's up? buddy. Katie, we're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Oh, that's right. Fucking Carlos is here, isn't he? Yes, my plan was to draw visitors easily with the campsite and it's proven blah, blah, blah. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism and I hope the number of island residents. Now, if that positive word of mouth marketing about Cove Cala will just spread. I admit it though, this is the most difficult part of our whole venture. So now we're going to be able to place different island plots, right? And villager hunt for more villagers, aren't we? Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. Isabel is just so positive. Isabel, how do you stay so positive every day, you ray of sunshine? Even on our rainiest day of the year. Still just, you know, such a sweetheart. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Katie? Um, I, yeah, okay. I bet it'll all work out, Isabel. <laughs> Isabel, Katie, thank you. Thank you so much. For what? I'm more determined than ever ever. Wow, yeah, he's looking extra determined. Holy shit, scary Tom Nook. We're not done, Katie, and we're all counting on you. Yeah, no pressure. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come ask me what should I do. You know what? Yeah, I will do that, but first and foremost, I owe you money. <gasps> I have something to tell you more? Wait, you are a talker today, Tom. How much caffeine did you have? It's about our campsite. Oh, he's gonna talk about amiibo cards, isn't he? You can use the amiibo to invite guests. Yeah, which I do. I mean, as a lot of y'all know, I've been collecting a lot of of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. And I'm not totally opposed to using some of them to invite villagers, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. I think I think we're putting the cart before the horse if we do that, but again, not opposed to it. Especially to get some interesting characters in here, maybe shake up the story a little bit. I don't know, could be spicy. Okay, A, B, D. How much do I own Tom Nook? 53,000? Oh man, okay, well. <laughs> 
Let's pay from pockets. Let's just, you know what? I know this is so painful, but we have to do it. Let's just empty, oh, let's empty our pockets and just pay. And now we only owe 11,833. Still not great, but uh, you know. Oof, okay, pain, pain, Tom Nook, that was painful. What, you wanted to talk to me? What do you want? I just gave you like $40,000. Talk to me, Tom, talk to me. We've started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image. Oh, he's telling me I haven't decorated, isn't he? <laughs> I truly haven't. I have like done, I've done absolutely nothing. We definitely have not unlocked terraforming. We definitely have not done much really. I need to do some of that off camera unless you would rather see it on camera. I don't know. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. It's just, it's raining. No one likes to terraform in the rain. Oh fuck. I haven't even unlocked terraforming. What am I talking about? I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island scenery, and turn Cove Cala into the most charming island it can be. Cove Cala and charming? I'm not sure that descriptor goes very well with the current vibe we have happening here. There's another CH word that I think is appropriate, and that is chaotic. But charming, I'll do my best. I will do my best, Tom. No promises, though. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flower. Tom, listen, I cannot tell you how hard I have tried to get some fucking hybrids growing. I don't know what's wrong with the soil here. I don't know if you've been, like, drilling or doing something to fuck up the ecosystem, but I, I cannot grow hybrids. It has been like literally weeks. I've watered them. It's clearly raining. So, you know, they're not like a dehydrated dying plant. But I get it. I hear you. I hear you. I'm trying. And use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Ooh, yeah. Let's bring back the word snazzy. I'm gonna start calling everything snazzy now. Well then, thanks for your help. Hmm? Yeah, very snazzy, Tom. Thank you. Well, I actually, no, I want to talk to you again. I want to see if I can uh, buy some land. I guess let's talk infrastructure, right? Is this where I can, um, or uh, not buy land, sell land. Let's see, yeah, sell some land. Let's do it. Ah, so you'll help prep some land for a future home. Excellent. Oh, shoot. Wait, no. If I sell land right now, that means I'm going to have to villager hunt immediately, really, unless we want to all autofill. Oh, God. Um, hmm. I do have to charge a small fee of 10,000 bells. Oh, well, we didn't even have bells, so never mind. Sorry. Sorry, Tom. We got to do this some other time. Okay. So basically, today is bell grind day because, one, we need to pay off our home loan. Own, but also, obviously, we um, we want to sell land too and invite villagers. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot to look in the lost and found. And if I know anything about this game, it's to take whatever's in there, if anything, and then just sell it. Just sell it. Okay, we got a worker's jacket. We got some clay. We got a sloppy sofa, which is actually cute. Oh, dang, some of this I kind of want to keep. Okay, no, I, I can't keep all of it. We need to sell some stuff. And we need to talk to our villagers, too. Oh, my God, they're all going to be so mad. All right, friends, where are you? It looks like most people are inside. All right, Buck, let's go say hi. I haven't seen Buck in, like, weeks. I miss him. He's my buddy, my pal, my bestie. Buck, how you been? Hey, buddy. Hey, friendo. Tell me how you've been. Oh, if it isn't Katie, it's been a while. Are those new clothes? They really show off your biceps part if they are new clothes. Fuck, you know who helped me pick out this outfit? It was Piper. She told me that I looked fabulous and I honestly trust her judgment. So thank you for noticing. You're just raring to go. So what do you need, partner? Let's talk. It's almost Cove Kala's big day, partner. Wait, what? What big day is on the horizon? I can't wait. It's going to be like leg day times gajillion. What big day? What big day? Fuck, what big day is happening? What is happening? Wait, Cove Kala, that's it? What big day? Fuck, wait, what big day? Tell me, what were you referencing? Are you referencing the bug off? What big day? Is there some event happening that I am just like unaware of? What are you plotting? What is going on? Okay, talk to me again. That was weird. Strength training doesn't mean doing any old exercise. Let me teach you how to do some buck style training. A rigorous exercise routine can be hard to maintain. Buck, I, I love you, but what big day? Walking or some other light exercise can be a good substitute on days when you're busy with other stuff. What big day? But be sure to wear socks because you can get blisters or chafed skin if you don't. 
But then again, once you're at my level, your calluses will be so thick you can probably skip the socks. Okay, you know what? I, I get it. I get it. TMI, I'll leave you alone. I don't want to know about your chafed blisters, your calluses, or whatever you got going on. I, what did, what kind of super secret message was that? What big day, Buck? <laughs> what is Cove Calla's big day? Is this foreshadowing about KK Slider? Like, I genuinely don't know. What big day? Oh, geez. Okay, let's see if the, the she devil is home. Oh, wow. No, she's out and about. Where could Faith be? Now that, that is a rare occurrence that she's not at home. I'm out for a bit. If you need me, just try to find me. Yeah, where are you? I would like to talk to you. Not at the plaza. What big day? <laughs> I'm genuinely dying to know. And the DIY we got. Ooh, an imperial pot. That's kind of cool. Norma, talk to me. What is Buck talking about? What big day is happening? Is everyone aware of something? I know I've been gone for a minute, but holy shit. Do you think we'll see a rainbow after all this rain, hoof hoo? Of course. It feels like everyone on this island is holding their breath, waiting. Yeah, well, okay. About what? What is going on? What is no one telling me? I wonder what's coming or who. Okay, yeah, what? Okay, um, something weird is happening. Uh, clearly there is some gossip going around about either someone coming, something coming. Is it about KK Slider? Possibly. It feels like something different though. Oh gosh, this is definitely foreshadowing about our next villager, isn't it? Is this a good foreshadowing though? Or is it a bad foreshadowing? That's what I can't figure out. Okay, Norma, at least we're on the same page. She doesn't know what's going on, but she knows something's going on. What the hell, you guys? I know it's like really eerie and spooky with all this rain, but I mean, there's just, that's a lot of mystery for uh, for like just starting this Let's Play today. Sherb, what's going on? Oh, hey, Sherb, what are you working on? Katie, where have you been the last two weeks? I know, I know, I'm sorry. Everyone's been worried. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, I've just been playing a little bit of Stardew Valley, all right? You should go say hi to everybody and then we can hang out, Ba. Uh, well, first, I want to know what you're building. <laughs> Tell me what you're building. I'm making me a clacker cart. <laughs> Honestly, that is one of the cuter items in the game. So I will take this DIY. Sherb, thank you so much, you blue cutie. Well, also, I got to know, Sherb, you look like you're preparing for some apocalypse over here. Do you know what the big day is? Can you tell me? I haven't been paying attention. Okay, so maybe Sherb is clueless, but I wanna see. Are you rocking a front tie tee? Wow, everyone is noticing my new clothes. Nice, looks easy to move in. Okay, yeah, no, there's some like apocalypse or something happening. Why is Buck talking about working out so much? And then now Sherb is talking about how I need to be able to move quickly. Norma's kind of in my boat of not knowing what's going on, but something is about to happen and it's, it's something dangerous. What is the danger? Watching you move is making me wanna move. It's like, oh yeah, I can move. Does Sherp want to move off the island? <laughs> no, something bad. Something bad is about to happen. Like, whoever is going to move into these plots that we put, I just have a sneaking suspicion that they are evil or something or that they're dangerous or that they're going to like wreak havoc. I really, I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot that I put Carlos all the way up here. Oops. Um, Sorry, Carlos. My bad. Oh, he's not even up here. Hello. Okay, where is everybody? Okay, Piper, let's chat. It's been a couple minutes now. When you see rain puddles, don't you just want to jump right in them? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, tell me what's up. Do you know what's going on? I'm trying to turn my house into something a little more me. They say a house is kind of like your castle or something, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, not to get, you know, off topic, but if I had a castle, then make me the princess. She is definitely sprucing up for either whatever new visitor is about to come. Maybe she's implying that she wants Buck to be her prince. I don't know. I'd be the first ever princess pop star. Okay, Piper and Norma, you girls are in the same boat as me where we have no idea what's going on. The boys seem to know that something's about to happen though and it's it's kind of disconcerting. Okay, Faith, where are you? Where are you, Faith? She's not in her house. I haven't seen her outside. Is she the one that's like cooking something up? What could possibly be happening? Okay, let's sell like a bunch of this fruit. It's gonna be one of the easier ways that we can get bells. I should have sold more right at the beginning, but we need like a good amount pretty much. Essentially like 22, right? Like 22,000 bells. <laughs> we'll have to go through our inventory and see what we want to get rid of. Do a little like spring cleaning, right? Or I guess summer cleaning. Yesterday was the first day of summer after all. Speaking of, let's go donate some of this stuff to Blathers. It's been a hot minute since I've had him assess any fossils really. And maybe Faith is in the museum. She probably is, right? That seems like a good rainy day activity for someone I hate. Blathers, wake up. I have fossils and I need 
need you to tell me if they're worth anything because I need money. Or we'll donate them, of course, if we can. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, how many, um, how many things do we need to donate to get Brewster? I wonder. It's probably like 50, right? Okay, sir. Well, I'm going to be a good Animal Crossing player. Let me donate this to you since you did find something new. And honestly, let's just go sell the other stuff. Today is money day. We are uh, money-ing, -ing, money -ing. <laughs> You know what? I kind of want to sell this big, stupid rock structure that Gulliver gave me. Thank God he has not been around in a minute. Uh, I have one, two, three empty spaces. So let's grab three things from storage that we want to sell as well. I guess we can sell some of these boxes. Like I know we'll need them to craft stuff eventually, but they're always in lost and found. So we don't need them All right, let's sell pretty much. Oh, not the tool shelf. I just bought that. Oh crap. Oh crap Okay, cardboard box. Yes. Guess let's go ahead and sell the podium too. We don't need that We don't need this fossil. We don't need the weeds or the fruit And remember how at the beginning of this video I was like, let's not sell the Sahara ticket. We are gonna sell it We're just gonna sell it right now. We need the money more than anything. Let's see only eight thousand five hundred oh Oh, okay, well, oh, all right, it's something. We still need to just go and get fruit, I guess. I don't know. We should probably do some fishing, but I don't want to. Okay, look, the one thing that we can do right now, let's just gather all the fruit that we can. And then if we do have 10,000 bells, we can at least, um, no, dang, I don't want to place a plot quite yet because I want to appropriately villager hunt. And today is not the day to do it. Okay, let me at least get these bells. And yeah. Yeah, let's um I know you're supposed to bury up to 10,000, but let's just bury let's bury 9,000. It's close enough, right? Bury in whole and now then uh, they should multiply. What time is it? Oh, it's 12:55. I have 5 minutes until Love Island comes on. You know what? If I miss the beginning, that's okay. Do you guys watch that show? I'm obsessed. It is truly like the reality show of uh, of my choice. It's just so ridiculous. They're so British <laughs> and I love it. That's all. Where is Faith? Oh no, that's Piper. Hi Piper. Piper. Have you heard anything since we last chat about like whatever Cove Cala's big day is? There's this one umbrella magazine that says holding an umbrella makes you cuter. Oh, she just called me out. Uh, yeah, I forgot to hold my umbrella. I have one in my pockets though, trust me. Since I can always use a little extra cute, I thought why not carry an umbrella? Well, if you take that umbrella and walk past Buck's house, maybe he'll come outside? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm okay with you peacocking over there. Oh yeah, you know, I forgot that the money rock was a thing. Let's see if this is the money rock. That gets you like a good, what, 10,000 bells or something? Oh no, it's normal rock. <gasps> oh, but gold. We got gold. That counts. That counts as a win, everyone. Listen, do your dailies. Do your dailies. <laughs> I kind of forgot what the, like, honestly, I have played this game so ass backwards just going to treasure islands and decorating, which, like, again, there's no right or wrong way to play. However, I kind of, oh wait, are my pockets full? Oh my god, they're full already. Okay, well, let's go sell. But I honestly kind of forgot what your dailies are supposed to be. Like, you're supposed to shake all the trees, sell all the fruit, water your flowers, catch fish, catch bugs. Oh, man, there's more. Obviously, like, go to Nook's Cranny, which, by the way, shouldn't we be getting Able Sisters sometime soon? Oh, I don't know. Hello, gentlemen. I found a gold piece I think that you guys might be um, interested in. First, take all of this fruit off my hands, please. And what does that get us? 19,000. Oh, that's pretty good. That actually gets us relatively close to paying off our home loan. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just find the money rock and then that should essentially take care of it, right? Okay, where are the other rocks on this godforsaken island? I want to say that there's one over here, but I don't remember. Where are they? Money rock, where are you? Where are you? Might I just say though, I love this island map layout. Like I really, really do. Okay, it's not over there. I think it's all on the left side of the map. Like I feel there are multiple rocks over that way. Let's see if I'm right. Isn't there one back here somewhere? I swear there is. Yeah. <gasps> yes, there's two right here. Perfect. Okay. This is perfect. Ah, oh, still not money rock, but that's okay. We still need resources. Maybe we'll get more gold. Oh, shoot. I forgot that the fence was there. So, ah, uh, okay. Well, that was definitely a rookie mistake. So I couldn't harvest everything from the rock. Oh, if that was money rock, I'd be devastated. Okay, Katie, make sure that nothing is surrounding the rock. Okay, good. Now dig your little holes and uh, let's hope this is money rock. Money rock it is. Oh my gosh. Yay. And I think we're going to be able to get everything out of it. Oh, this is such a good feeling at that 
Uh, we are so rich, it's embarrassing. Woohoo, okay, let's go pay off our loan. Oh, amazing. And honestly, I could live with that whole like studio apartment life, but I cannot live with a small closet, which is essentially small storage space. And that's what we have right now. We need to upgrade our house so we can really just store more shit. That's what we're doing. Okay, so we have more than enough bells to not only pay this off, but I guess we can go ahead and maybe not place the plot, but we can at least buy a little setup tent or the setup construction site. You guys know what I'm talking about from Tom. And then next time we can villager hunt. Okay, pay from pockets. Let's pay the full amount. Boom, look at that. So much happening. All right, Tom, you and I need to have a chat now. One, let's expand my house. And two, let's sell some land. You've paid off your loan in full. I'd expect nothing less, of course, but such a milestone is certainly a cause for celebration. But what if it could be bigger? My thoughts exactly, Tom. Let's go. A bigger home means more space for furniture. Yeah, that's great. And more storage, too. That's exactly what I want. That's what I'm after. I want to expand. Oh, gosh, 198,000. Well, okay, it's all part of the game. I'm just gonna have to be good and actually do our dailies now that I kind of remember what they are. Oh, yeah, what roof color do we want? I think my mine is currently blue is that right yeah to like match our airport isn't it blue let's do um yeah let's just keep it blue why not ain't you know what, what's the expression if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah that's fine okay tom i have other things to discuss with you let's sell some land give me at least a plot i'm not gonna set it up today i'm gonna noodle on exactly where also i feel like construction in the rain for a new home is not gonna be beneficial anyway but i think i think we need to sell a little bit of land and then we can also villager hunt next time i can grind a little bit save up so we can purchase some nook mile tickets and that'll be our plan for the next video i don't know who to villager hunt for especially now that uh, like everyone's talking about it being some big day on the horizon like that's kind of weird isn't it i'll just hand over the housing kit that you need use it to claim a plot for a new house you got it tom norma oh norma hello what's going on girlfriend um i just wanted to make sure to thank you katie oh okay yeah of course what's up they say you've been trying to get kk to notice our island so he'll come and perform here i'm grateful for you you trying to make this happen norma bestie of course we all want a great and wonderful place to live i'm really slacking on decorating and also making flowers uh hybrid flowers happen but your gratitude means a lot between you and me i think i might be the biggest kk fan on the island i don't know you take that up with tom because he said the same thing actually i have something here that might help oh what what do you got i thought maybe you could use this menu chalkboard here oh cute we could put this outside maybe of um i guess we could put it outside of the museum maybe like allude to Brewster showing up eventually, maybe, if we ever do anything to our museum. I see. Okay, Norma, you kind of just solved the mystery for me. I'm pretty sure everyone's talking about KK coming to town, and that is something that we need to do, like actually decorate. <laughs> Let's see, oh cute. You know, this actually matches Sherb's house quite nicely, but I'm gonna put it outside of the museum for now. Oh my gosh, speaking of, we still haven't seen Faith. Let me see if she's in the museum. Let's, I guess, say hi to her because we haven't. And we need to say hi to everyone. Oh, we still haven't said hi to Carlos either. Where is everyone? We know that they weren't in Nook's Cranny. Let's see if they're in the museum. Probably shouldn't be like running through the museum, should I? But still. Yeah, we literally have not said hi to, oh, Carlos, wow, speak of the devil and they will appear. Hi, Curlos. Wait, so this is a euthanesto... Uh, okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Curlos is like, what? What is this? Yeah, I don't know either. I'm sorry. With confusing branding like that, no wonder it went extinct. Rude. Curlos, how dare you speak of the dead that way? Hey, did you donate that fossil? And I'm here lecturing you about it like a know-it-all. So cool. Okay, well, that was pretty kind. Thanks, Curlos. Can we talk more? You just want to... Oh, he just you're just intrigued. Are you still intrigued over here? Whoa, look who's here. If it isn't Katie, glad we finally connected it again yeah last time i saw you you basically invited yourself to move here and i wasn't the happiest about it but nice to see that you're taking advantage of the island accommodations like this beautiful museum that only i'm the one who donates to there's been a major plot twist in the new season of Kurlos. i live here now trust me i know it's all because of that conversation we had back at the campsite believe it or not oh i believe it the, uh, the conversation where you invited yourself i remember very vividly i was worried the curlo show was gonna get canceled before i even had a chance to tell you yeah, Kurlos, a uh, little bit of advice. Very few people enjoy it when you speak in the third person. Just saying. Haha, uh -huh, kidding. I already signed a merch deal. Two words, 
Carlos branded apparel. Technically, those are three words, but you just hyphenated one of them. But okay, all right. I'm not going to be a know it all if you're not going to be a know it all. Deal? Shake hands. Now, Carlos, do you know where Faith is? I can't find her anywhere. Faith, where are you? You've gotta be around here somewhere, right? Okay, I guess let's look. Let's look in the art gallery. I have no idea where she could be. You know what? Knowing her, she probably already went back home. Like she was out and about. She found out that I was like looking for her and decided to retreat back to home base, back where she's comfortable. I would honestly not be surprised if that's what happened. Okay, let's check out the fish area for good measure, but I'm pretty sure it's just another day of Faith avoiding me, okay? She doesn't like confrontation, clearly. And when she is confronted, she resorts to like very passive aggressive dialogue. Faith, are you over here? Maybe down here? Yeah, nowhere, nowhere to be found. What is this? How much do you wanna bet that I leave this museum after coming in here specifically to look for her and Carlos, I guess, but really looking for Faith. Have a friendly conversation, like a, hey, how are you? I'm still alive. You know, that kind of conversation, and I guarantee she's back home. Is she? Oh, there she is. Speak of the devil. Faith, my girl. First off, Faith, your outfit. What are you doing? <laughs> Raincoat's cute, but this hat? Come on. Come on. You're making it a little too easy for me today, Faith. Okay, let's chat. Tell me what's going on. Still got more to say, aloha. All right, you're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked shit about your hat to your face. Behind your back, I still will though. Let's talk. Lay it on me. Some kind of big event thing's happening soon, but I didn't catch what it was. God, I hate mysteries. Okay, you actually are in the same boat as myself and Norma, and then Piper is like seemingly clueless about everything. Faith, I have, uh, I have deduced that this is either one of two things. It's either about KK coming to play or potentially a new neighbor that I'm going to seek out next time. Whoa, Aloha, someone's feeling chatty. Oh, excuse you, you're welcome for just a little tidbit of information. You just said you hate mysteries. I here am solving said mystery for you by telling you what I know. I feel like I'm always staying up way too late. Like I'll say I'm going to bed early, but then I'll be reading a book or something. And then I gotta know what happens next. So I keep turning pages and pretty soon I'm near the end. So I may as well finish. And suddenly the sun's up. Well, not today, it's raining. You know what, Faith though? That was like the most pleasant interaction you and I have ever had had. It's like suspiciously pleasant. What is happening? Maybe I should like, like, let, let's just test this out. I'm going to give you a present because you were nice to me today. And I'm very, uh, I'm very concerned. I'm very suspicious. Here are some peaches. Here you go. What do you have to say about that? There's nothing tastier than a peach. Thanks. Um, I could eat these for days. They're scary good. That's it. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Is this like a pleasant interaction with Faith? What is going on? Between Buck alluding to this big day, everyone talking about this mysterious event, and Faith actually being nice to me, I don't really, I don't really know what to do. I'm not sure exactly how to conclude this video, quite frankly. I'm gonna keep grinding off camera. This was kind of a, um, it was like a bridge episode, wasn't it? Not too much happened, but next video, a lot will happen because we are going to villager hunt. And so in preparation for that, I am going to get some Nook Mile tickets. Let me know in the comments who we should hunt for because I don't know. I know we need a cranky villager, but other than that, like who do we, who do we want to invite to Cove Kala? Who is going to round out this cast of characters? I don't know. I hope y'all are having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old beautiful world and I will see y'all in the the next one. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Bye.